What's up guys, Josh Hader here. Today we're going over my favorite cleats from my past seasons. Along with that, we're gonna be giving away a pair of my personal cleats to you. Comment below your favorite baseball memory and I'll pick a winner and you'll be receiving a pair of my custom cleats. Batting first, we got my Cherry 11s. These are one of my favorite cleats that I have. These are just a pure classic 11 shoe. The really cool part about this is you can wear them with anything. It doesn't matter if it matches the team or not. Like the cherries are A1. Yeah, the inspo behind these, these are one of the 11s. I'm a big fan of the shoe. And these were just one of my top 11s colorway that I've ever seen. And I figured why not make them into cleats? Yeah, it's just a beautiful shoe. Now batting number two, the one white cement. These are an all-star classic of mine. I want to not go too crazy, but add a little style to them um, for the all-star game in 2023. These are just a classic one that built in the cleats. Seattle was one of my favorite all-star games. Just the weather was perfect. It was the first all-star game we actually won, which was really cool to be part of. Diaz uh, came and hit a home run in the middle of that game that put us over top. And it was just fun watching everything go through, meeting new guys. Yeah, this is just, it brings me back to memory lane of that, that moment. Now batting number three, Tope Hayes Jordan 4s. These are a classic of mine. I really love the finish on these, the texture. It just adds a different style to the cleat game. You don't really see this type of material on a cleat. With how much the dirt and wear and tear, these really last it pretty well. And when the lights hit it in a certain way, it just makes them shine. My favorite memory of these are just my 2023 season, one of my best seasons of my career. And you know, these were along the way with me. I, I switched them up a lot, but these were the ride or dies for most of the games. Just the structure of this shoe is very strong. And that's another reason why I really want to make Jordan shoes in the cleats because the guys that play basketball, they're moving quickly, they're moving lateral, and similar to baseball, we move down the mound and we need to be able to have that structure that can hold us and brace our position to where when we're landing or if we're pivoting or, you know, making a quick quick move, we can, you know, have something we can rely on. And the Jordan 4 was that shoe that I could rely on. So the really cool thing about these Jordans is how they're made. So originally they're just a regular Jordan sneaker and our great friend Govern, he swaps out the soles and makes them into a cleat. And he'll take the Nike Zoom Hirachi cleat bottom and he'll glue them on the base of a Jordan shoe. The really cool thing about this process is they're so custom to the shoe and the detail that goes into making these are high quality. They last for a long time. And you know that's really one of the things that worried me going into the sole swap was, will it be able to hold how I pitch? And for me, I have a lot of torque from the ground up and just having the confidence that these shoes can hold up and give me more power from the ground, you know, gives me a consistent motion and force from the dirt is all I could ever ask for. So shout out to Govern for making these. For all the shoes that are upcoming for the 2024 season, we're gonna be customizing a pair of ones. We're gonna be customizing a pair of 12s and eights. Thanks for tuning in to this video today on my custom cleats. Make sure you comment below your favorite baseball memory and we'll be picking a winner in the next video. Peace.